Hi guys, Rachie Bob here and today I'm reviewing an app called Unity. This is the app here, this one, and you can log in three different ways. I'm going to go through it in detail like I always do. So I'm going to log in with an email. Then once you've logged in, you'll get a verification to your email address. And when you've verified that, you just click I verified and then you're logged in. You can turn on your notifications, I always like to turn those on and this is basically a media server for your entire home based through your device, This, in this case my iPhone. These are your settings down here. First of all, don't forget you have to install Unity on your computer. So I'm going to do that first off. Okay, so that doesn't take too long and once you've done that I mean this will walk you through it but you log in on your PC and then Unity will then scan your PC for things it can sync with your iPhone. Like it says here the Unity app will transfer info about your digital files to your mobile device. Now you're all ready to enjoy your digital files anytime, anywhere. You can see here what version you're using, disk usage, about you can change your name, anything like that, music quality, pin lock, that might be a good idea if you have some files that you want to keep extra secure. And you can see the devices you've connected, so you can see now I've connected my laptop. So if we go back to the actual app, here we've got currently playing, which we don't have anything playing at the moment, music, so we can see artists here albums. I'm not sure I'll have any to be honest because I use Spotify mainly. So you can keep your music in there. Videos, got all that stuff there. Photos and files. So I'm going to come back and show you this when it's actually synced with my PC so you can see how it populates. Then you've got sharing so you can actually share files with other people and they can share it with you search so you can search for anything that you might need this might be good when you're away and you desperately need something and you've got your settings which we've just seen which is basically the same as we saw before help and support and you can also invite friends hi guys so we're now on the day after and i've allowed it to sync it didn't take that long maybe about half an hour i have quite a full laptop of things when it's synced it's let it lets you know on your actual computer and then you can access your files from the app. So if we go to music, artists, we should now see some artists. I'm not sure what I've got because there's not much that I actually leave on my actual laptop. Most of my music is streamed. Um, these are all YouTube <laughs> tracks, um, so you might recognise some of these names. we we'll go back now. So that's all of those. No, I'm good, thanks. There's a lot of help and assistance. You get an email just saying if you need any help, let them know. There's also a blog. I'll put a link in the description to that if you need any help. You can also ask in the comments as well and I'll try and help you. Um, mo okay, movies, videos, all. Okay, so we've got all these videos here. So I've got one of my vlogs here. And then if I go into it, can I actually play it? Let's see. Oh, I can. Oh. There we go. Very cool. So my screen recorder is not doing it much justice there. But that actually plays it like from the laptop, which is really cool. GoPro. I wish. And then you've got your photos here as well. Desktop loads of stuff absolutely loads of rubbish <laughs> and documents again you've got all your pictures so you've got your sims pictures as well oh that's so cool so that's really handy actually because sometimes i want to instagram them and it's like a palaver trying to send them through um or like hook it up but at least now i can just use this and go straight to them that's really quite fun love that Hi Alicia, you stood in a chopping board. Anyway, go back into files. So you've also got your files as well. So you can go into any of the games you have and see any files 
that you might want to access. It won't let you if they're not ones that you should be accessing on a mobile device. So it's probably better for maybe documents and things like that. So I would say images, movies, videos, photos, like it says, text files, PDFs, um, music, did I say music? All of those are on there and accessible from your computer. So you're either travelling a lot, so you need access to them, you're really lazy, you can't be bothered to get up to go to your PC, or maybe any other reason, let me know any other reason why you think this would be useful, but personally I love it. It's not taking up any space, so it's really cool that it's just accessible and there and really quite fun. I don't know of anything like it. I think we've tried something similar to this in the past doing an app review and it wasn't as great. I've got a vague memory, you guys might remember better than me. But anyway, that is the Unity app. Let me know your thoughts about it. Personally, I love it. I think it's really great and I am gonna give it five big fat moves because I can't fault it. I would have thought that something like this you would probably usually pay for. So the fact that you don't, let's just test a music file before we go crazy. The fact that you don't is pretty cool. Let's go for Auld Lang Syne. Very good. I love that. Okay, that's great. I love it. Five big fat moves, like I said. Um, let me know your thoughts about the Unity app. Will you use it? What will you use it for? And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!